Hello, today we're going to do a short video of replacing the point ignition coil on a steel 028 chainsaw to an electronic ignition coil. First thing you want to do is remove the side cover and the air filter cover. After the screws are removed, remove your starter cover. As you can see here, this is the point ignition coil. We will be removing this, cutting the wire in behind there that goes to the points and cutting the switch wire which will reconnect to the new electronic ignition coil. After the screws have been removed, lift the ignition coil up. They're close to the flywheel. You will cut the two small wires. Next, you will remove the spark plug boot. The coil on the left hand side here is the original steel 028 point ignition coil. The steel here on the cut and action. The coil on the left is the original steel 028 point coil we just removed. The coil on the right hand side is the new electronic ignition coil. Yes, they do look different, but they are 100% interchangeable. This electronic ignition coil will bolt fine. Onto the saw, you gap it 10 thousandths and it will work fine with no other modifications besides hooking the ignition kill switch wire up to this terminal right here where my thumb's at. You want to strip the wire, install your new terminal, and crimp it securely. Rotate your flywheel to the magnets lined up to the ignition coil. You need to get a 10,000 shim stock, insert it between the ignition coil and the flywheel, loosen the two screws up, let the ignition coil make contact with the shim stock, then you want to securely tighten it down. Reinstall the ignition switch wire remove the shim stock you'll run the ignition coil wire up into the top of the saw here at this time you can reinstall the starter cover assembly and tighten it three screws or four screws that holds the starter cover on. The older saws were three, the newer ones were four screws. This ignition coil replaces steel part number 0000-400-1300. This ignition coil is used on multiple chainsaws and applications. The spark plug is very very long. You cut the spark plug wire to length then you will poke a hole in and install your in terminal, spark plug terminal, cut. It's a good idea before you slide the terminal into the spark plug wire to spray some lubrication in there to make this job a little bit easier. After the spark plug terminal has been installed onto the chainsaw, plug it up to your ignition coil and you're ready to go cut wood. I want to thank you for watching this short video that today. All these parts are found in our store at www.littleredbarn.net. Go to the saw manufacturer. In this instance would be steel. The model number would be an 028. This one's a wood boss, WB. And go to the category, which would be ignition modules or ignition coils. And you can purchase this. I want to thank you very much for watching this short video today.